What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are going to be looking at how to add and subtract fractions. Let's go. So what do we need to know and remember about fractions? Well, we need to remember that the number at the top of a fraction shows us how many parts we have. And the number at the bottom shows how many our whole is split into. So let's start with our green chili challenge and let's first examine this first fraction which says 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. So we call this number at the bottom the denominator and like it said here in our remember that the number at the bottom shows us how many our whole is split into. So it's like having a whole chocolate bar but splitting it into 5 equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. Just use your imagination a bit to imagine that they're all equal parts. Then we have the number at the top. And the number at the top, if we look back to what we remember, the number at the top tells us how many of those parts we actually have. And we call this the numerator. And in this case, we have three of them. So it's like saying I have this first one, the second one, and the third one. So I have three fifths. So my three fifths looks like this. But my question wants me to add this to one fifth. So one fifth is like saying I have another chocolate bar that's also split into five, just like this, nice equal parts, and I have one of them. So when I'm adding my one, two, three fifths to my one-fifth, what am I going to get? Well, we need to understand that we've been working with the measurement of fifths. And we're adding three-fifths and one-fifths. It'd be just like saying I'm adding three elephants. That's my picture of an elephant. And I'm adding to one elephant. How many elephants have I got? Well, I would have four elephants. And it's exactly the same as saying it with fifths. If I have three fifths and I'm adding it to one fifth, then I'm going to have something fifths because I'm sticking with the measurement of fifths. I'm not going to have three fifths added to one fifths and all of a sudden have something sevenths because that wouldn't make sense. I'm working with fifths. So how many fifths do I have in this case? Well, I have one, two, three, and four in total. So my answer is four fifths. So three fifths plus one fifths equals four fifths. Let's look at our second example. This time I have two eighths added to five eighths. So it's like saying I have a chocolate bar that this time is split into eighths. So it look a little bit like this. And I have one, two of them. And I'm adding it to another chocolate bar. But this time I have five of my eighths. So I start with my eighths, and I'm going to shade in five. One, two, three, four, and five. And just like before, if I'm adding eighths together, I'm going to end up with eighths in the end. And how many eighths do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven eighths. Therefore, two eighths plus five eighths equals seven eighths. Now let's see if we can find a pattern. Let's look back to our green chili challenge. I had three fifths plus one fifths, and that equaled four fifths. And if we notice, my fifths never changed. And all I ended up doing was adding my numerators. Three plus one equals four. Let's see if that worked with the second example. Two eighths plus five eighths equals seven eighths. Well look, my eighths never change. And if I just add my numerators, two plus five, equals 7. So a little tip for us, if our denominators are the same, so we have a 5 and a 5, then our denominator will always be fifths, and then all we need to do is add or subtract the numerator. Let's do our last example. With the red chili challenge, we have 11 tenths, subtract this time 4 tenths. So this is a little bit different, because this is like saying that I have a chocolate bar that's been split into 10, but I have 11 of them. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh-oh, 
I only have 10 in this first chocolate bar. So what can I do? Well, this is why this is a red chili challenge, because we need to understand that we can have another one. So therefore, I would have another one that's been split into 10, just like before. And in this case, I only have one of them. And together, they would make up my 11. So now I have my 11 tenths, but this time I'm subtracting four. So let's simply remove four of these. One, two, three, four. How many do I have left over? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So my answer is seven tenths. Let's see if that same rule applied. I had 11 tenths, had 4 tenths, so therefore my answer is going to be in tenths. And 11 subtract 4 equals 7. So it works with subtraction as well. Now it's your turn. Use these exact same skills to answer these three questions. Press pause on the video now. Take your time. Good luck. And there you have it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos all in sequence to help you with everything you need to know about the UK curriculum maths. But for now guys, see you in another video. Peace out.